we get a sailboat Chasing down the sunset as we float Round and round the globe This is Margarita, the normal one in a not quite normal marriage. And this is Peter, he's a little bit different, which keeps me on my toes. Together we are on an adventure that didn't work out as planned, but we are fighting back, so come join us! Margarita wanted to go wakeboarding and with the big crop back I had to find a place where it was hardly ever seen. A quick check, no crocs around here. This looks like a great spot. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I won't show this to Margarita. Flying the drone, driving the boat, trying to avoid coral heads and crocs and keeping an eye on margarita. Usually I'm only good for one thing at a time, so this is overloading my system somewhat. But it's all good, there will be lots of bloopers for our patrons. until the croc showed up. Now it's my turn to de-stress.
check out this circle in a second. Whoa, I got some action. Now check this out. The shark does another pass right in front of me. And as I poke my head out the top, it was right in my face. But he was only after a free meal. He's not stupid, but I didn't oblige. He was on his merry little way, so it's all good. Remember, it's always good until it's not. Just try to keep on the former part of the expression rather than the latter, okay? I'm just gonna have to stop it there, people. There may have been one or two swear words. All right, that ought to do it. That was about 50 meters, maybe 100 meters that way. I can imagine the YouTube comments as we speak, and I'm gonna have to head them off at the pass. There will be none of this utter nonsensical talk about me going to have to clean my undies afterwards. I mean, what utter, utter rot. It was my undies, my shorts, the seat, the cockpit floor, part of a rope bag, part of a shoe, and the rev meter on the engine control panel. That's about it. happening today people. It never ends. It's bloody good. It's not good. It's like a TV show for people that don't bloody have TV. scary. That people don't have TV and are a bit bored. Margarita, are you having trouble going to sleep? Yeah, it's quite loud and Peter's forcing me to stay awake to make him company too. No, I'm it's a not bit scared. I'm not forcing you to stay awake. I'm introducing you to the concept of counting lightning bolts like counting sheep. And that'll make it easier to go to sleep. So let's start counting lightning bolts, shall we? If you heard that, people, there's a bit of a rumble. Three. Three. sleep still as you know we had a terrible night it just continued right throughout the night I'm exhausted but you know I don't need much beauty sleep she needs a lot of beauty sleep well that was quite a night the little precious she had to come out here and what did you do what do you normally do I'll put a movie on and have the earphones to try and fall asleep because the noise was so loud. So mm. I said, if I put the movie, I'll watch a bit because now I cannot fall asleep. And then with the music, I'll just... So the little precious left me. But um, the big crack, my God, what did you think? It feels like you entering... Um, Tachycardia when it, it goes in, it, 
it's like a defibrillator that goes in. Well, I, I, thought, really? What? Want to do that again? You do not. I, I said it wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. I want to do the action. I love Margarita's sound effects. She goes, the knife. Anyway, um, when we had that crack, that that bang, I thought it split open the top of the boat. It it was like a, it sounded like it was here. something broke like and split open and uh she that that was very well mildly put disconcerting uh, little precious oh, still sorry. she's very beautiful she needs a lot of beauty sleep people this has been going for weeks and weeks and apparently it's already was happening before when i left peter alone so he's been having fun oh, yeah. counting lightnings basically Anywhere between 2 and 6 a.m., you're pretty well guaranteed every night. But sometimes it just goes right through the night, like last night. And it, it's not one cell, it's multiple cells that just come through. Yeah, they just come through the night. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable, unbelievable. When is the season that starts uh, being like this here? Okay, it starts around June and it continues right through to November. Yeah. And then December... It's you have super strong winds. It stops the the lightning, but the winds are super strong. Yeah, well, it's the it's the Christmas trade. Yeah. So the, then it's winter. Yeah. Throughout January till the end of January. No, February, February, beginning yeah? of March. Yeah. Okay. So if you are going to be in San Blas in summertime, you're going to have to expect this. My good friend Stuart, the New Zealand guy that knows all. Um, he reckons that all the boats in San Blas the previous year, out of all the boats the previous year, one quarter had some kind of damage through lightning strike. So that's pretty high. I don't know if I well, believe we've that. Been quite fortunate. Or maybe I misheard. Maybe he said it was when they were in Linton Bay and that storm came I don't through. Know. But it's well, it's either that or. I'm making it up now. It might it might have been. Remember, there was a big storm in Linton Bay also, and maybe it was a quarter of all of those boats that got hit. Regardless of that, it's pretty spectacular, but you may suffer some damage. But despite all of that, I love San Blas, and I really don't want to leave. Margarita I wants to go. I want to go. <laughs> we have been here a long time. Um, but I have certainly recharged my batteries. You know, uh, those people that um, you know, people have like come to here be secluded and stay and don't like to have friends. Well, maybe because they don't know to make friends. It's a bit harsh. Wants to see stay I, here. See what I have to put up with people. There's some people that have come here and haven't left after 20 years. No, 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 not some people. One couple. Yeah, and then and the other it. couples that have been here for 10 years. Stuart's been here for three, for three years. years. Oh, yeah. People come here and they stay a long time because it's pretty awesome. Anyway, that's enough. Otherwise, Margaret is going to start picking on me again. There is no turning back. We have to take the plunge. We have to find the right path. No depth is too great. No terrain too hard. We must go on. We must. Many of the others look down upon us, but we will survive. We must, because there is no other alternative other than oblivion. All has been cast in one final throw. Sometimes we come upon a junction and we don't know which way to turn. But I sense something now. There! That way! It must be to the right path. The feeling is getting stronger. Even stronger now. getting low but the path is leading us deeper we have no choice but to go on and go deeper and deeper but wait 
I can see a light at the end of this tunnel. There! There, people! There it is! There is salvation! That will save us! Grab it! Hold on tight and don't let go! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on!